All right, guys, back with another video here today, and we're going to talk about another Dragon Ball Z figure, this one being Frieza's second form, and of course, it's an authentic SH figure, it's a Tamashii Nation's Bandai figure here, and I have to say, just looking at him, he is one big beast, <laughs> he looks pretty cool, I'm pretty excited about it, so we'll have to get him out soon, check him out, but we'll look at the box, just to look at the boxes that we usually do. And, uh, of course, on the back is just showing different poses that you can put the figure in. And, yeah, that's about it that we're getting from there. And, of course, on the side, there's a couple more photos of Frieza in his second form. But, yeah, that is about it. Let's open this box and get a better look at this guy. All right, so here is Frieza's second form out of the box, and I have to say he is looking pretty beasty. <laughs> He's looking pretty cool. I do like him a lot already, and I don't see anything to complain or gripe about. And don't worry, we have his tail. It's not missing. We're going to uh, hook it up later. But, uh, yeah, he looks good, man. The paint application, the colors... I see nothing running together. I don't see any marks anywhere. No defects with the paint that I see at all. It looks really good. Uh, very awesome. Very awesome. I like the uh, shine, the purple parts of the on the body have. Uh, the the nice purple, light purple uh, paint on the on the skin, and of course the pink on the other part of his skin. Looks really good. Yeah, nothing to complain about. This figure is definitely meeting expectations. Maybe over-succeeding them already just by looking at him. I don't know, very, I like this figure a lot. That's all I can say. But anyways, let's get into the articulation and see what we got going on there. Alright, so let's get into the articulation. As far as his head goes, it can go back about that much. So not too much further back. Looks down really well. If you look to the side... To the side and of course he can go all the way around now these little shoulder pad things can go up about that high so they do get in the way a little bit with the arm but you can pop them on and off if you want but the arm can go out about that far now there is a nice wing type deal going on here you can just swing his arm over really nice like i said these will get in the way the pads do get in the way a little bit so you won't be able to get as much with them on but like i said you can pop them off pretty easily um but yeah, so you can go out, you can do just about any kind of pose you want with him here. Very nice, very nice arm articulation going on. Nice elbow, everything's good. Very cool. Now as far as the crunch goes, that is also very nice. You can go down back about that much, down about that much. Pretty good. And of course, the waist got going on there. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, very good articulation so far. Let's move on to the legs. He can kick out like that. So that's pretty decent for his size of a figure. So, yeah, you're getting all that right there. That's very good. Let's check out the knees. Very good knees as well. Nice. And let's see, yeah, you can move the feet. However you'd like to do that. Yeah, the articulation with this guy is outstanding, I have to say. Uh, there is, I believe, a little bit with the tail. We'll get the tail in there here soon, here shortly, because we're about to get into the accessories. But yeah, very awesome. Uh, the paint job's awesome. The articulation's awesome. This is a very good quality figure so far. Let's get into those accessories, though. Okay, so we'll start with the tail. The tail comes in two parts. Okay, and I mean, this is pretty much where his tail got cut off. Um, so you have that, and then you have the rest of it right here. And what you do for this is this, this is like a little cap on the end that you can hopefully get off here. Okay, there. So you can remove that. Then you take this. Snap it in there. Oh. 
if I don't knock something off trying to get this on there. Voila, his tail is attached now. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. You do have a little bit right here. And then, of course, the other one right here. And then one on the very, well, not the very tip, but right there at the end. So there is a lot of motion that you can do with this guy. It's only stationary up here. So a lot you can do to get that tail going on all the way behind his back if you want. Popping up here on the side. Pretty cool. So yeah, there's his tail. I don't know if it's going to throw us off the balance here. See if I can lean him up. We'll just leave them like that for now. But uh, yeah, you're going to be able to move this guy motion in a lot of different ways. The articulation's awesome. The tail looks great. So there's the other tip. So if you want to give him half his tail back, that's fine too. But he does come with some extra hands as well. Actually, two extra sets and then another hand on the side as well. So he's got these like palm hands here. Oh, dropping them. Got those fingernails and everything. Looks good. Nice color. And he's got these kind of uh, grabby type looking hands here. Also look very well. Nice nail polish going on there. <laughs> or black nails, whatever you want to call it. And then he just comes with this single uh, peace sign hand going on here. So that's cool. All the hands look really well. He does also have an extra set of feet. Let me get that here. The Dragon Ball's rolling around on the side here. But he does have this extra set of feet too that you can put on. So there you go. Good looking feet. And since the Dragon Ball keeps rolling around, we'll look at it real quick. But yeah, just like the other ones, authentic ones from the line, this is a nice glow. I don't see a lot of uh, issues. No, and Not too many imperfections in the actual ball itself. Pretty shiny, nice reflection. Yeah. Good Namek Dragon Ball there. He also has an extra head here. So I'm not sure what exactly. It must just be like, I don't know what the difference is. The horns maybe, I'm not sure. But there must be something that this is used for <laughs> that's different. I'm sure it's not just uh, exactly the same thing. But yeah, another head. And then he comes with three extra face plates. We got this one right here where he's like grinning or laughing or whatnot. So there's that one. Pretty cool. And then we got another one where he's smirking. What a cocky guy he is. So you got that smirk look on there. And then we got one more. Where he's angry, pissed off looking face. So really nice, nice work on these face sculpts as well. Very nice. Everything looks good. That's all the accessories he comes with. I'd say this is a definitely a buy if you guys are a collector. I don't see anything wrong with this. The articulation's nice. The color everything's good with that i don't know it's any imperfections on this figure maybe you'll have some paint rub or something on yours but this is pretty much perfect um awesome accessories enough accessories uh everything's good i have no complaints with this this guy was on the pricier side but with his size which i'll put him next to some of the other figures uh from the line but uh yeah with his size and everything i think it's pretty much worth it i paid $90, I believe, for this figure, if I remember correctly. Somewhere between $80 and $90. It wasn't quite 100 bucks. Maybe with shipping, it was 100 bucks. So he was expensive. He's not on the you know $35 realm, but he shouldn't be. He has a good, he's good quality, which I'm not saying none of the other ones aren't, but he's very well done, uh, very large. He's probably about, I don't know, two or three, probably three, other, three of the other figures put together. To make up his size <laughs> and i'm talking width as well as height um but yeah he is huge uh definitely a good buy i would say i think it was worth the money 100 bucks oh it sounds pricey i'd like to keep these guys at like 70 
you know? But I'm not going to complain if this figure was 80, 90 bucks, really. But I don't know. I, I try to think reasonably what this should be worth. <laughs> but I think 100 bucks, I'm not mad about paying 100 for this. I think it was a good deal. I think it was worth it. But I would like to see these figures more closer, like 80. That's where I would like to leave them off at, about 80 bucks for this figure. But I'm not going to complain at the price tag. I think he's worth it. So anyways, let's do a few pictures here at the end. And I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please uh, watch the other ones coming up.